All right, so I had a hissy fit about flow testing the exhaust. I had a hissy fit because when I started flow testing it, I was looking at our old numbers, maybe I shouldn't have been doing that, and I noticed that there was actually a lot of losses. Uh, it was like 10 CFM down to the prior time where Uncle Johnny flowed it in the winter time. But once I came to my senses, I moped around, I felt sorry for myself, and I realized that the air density is different between the winter and the summer. So Uncle Johnny floated during the winter, I'm floating during the summer, we're not in a controlled environment. So there is a difference in the CFM because of the, uh, the air density. So what I did was I flow tested the exhaust again and I flow tested the exhaust ported and unported and there actually is gains now. So I feel much better about my career. So next up, I'm gonna do the same thing on the intake side. I'm gonna flow it stock, I'm gonna flow it ported, and then we're gonna to try to take off that little piece on the short turn and see what kind of difference that's make, that makes. All right, so now we're gonna take it off the flow bench and I'm gonna switch everything over to the ported side so that way we can flow test the ported side versus the unported side on the same day so I don't get upset. All right, with solid gains on the intake and solid gains on the exhaust, I'm feeling really good. Not like the other day, right? So the last part is that I showed you the other day, there is a little hump here and that hump is for the DI. Now this guy is not doing DI, but we're gonna digitize the sport, which means it's for everybody. Most of the time, I think that anytime that somebody's gonna be using a ported head and um, once you get to that level, the DI is not gonna be alone. So you're gonna do a DI and a port injection and the port injection, then we can get rid of any kind of nuances that we need for just the DI. So we're gonna take this away, flow it, and then on to the next video, we're gonna valve drop it. Check it out. All right, so now it's an actual short turn. Am I taking a chance by taking that out? I am, but you know what? That's what uh, on the other side of the growth is pain. So we're gonna see if this works. We took out this divider, this, uh, this little piece here. I said that's something that you'll see in a lot of DI cars. They do something on the short turn to bring the air into the center of the combustion chamber, but we're not using DI anymore. We're making power. So we're gonna make it so the short turn works. So, some gains and some losses. I lost two to three CFM from 100 lift to 200 lift and then 250 lift on. I picked up an average of eight CFM throughout every lift up to 450 lift. It was worth it. Next up, we're gonna valve job it and we're gonna flow test it again. Blend it, flow test it again. There is a lot more to this. Stay tuned. That's it for me today, toodles.